By yourself? Nah, I'm waiting on someone. Who? My son. As good that you spend time with your son, that is more important than anything. It is? Sure is, but I've got to go and that's the place to talk to strangers by. Take it easy, kid. Has something to say. I just hate to see you lie here without an ounce of hope in your whole body. Did you forget that I was dying of cancer? Let me start by saying that you're no less of a man by expressing emotion. That has been a big problem in our race, and we as black men need to be able to express how we feel. Tapping into your sentimental side is good for you. Well, if it's so good for you, why are all men afraid to show it? When I was talking to my client earlier, he was telling me how empty and confused he felt. Did you figure out why he was feeling that way? Yeah. Why? We figured out that most of his negative emotions stem from not having a relationship with his father. There's something I wanted to tell you for quite some time, but I didn't know how. And I can't hold it in any longer. It's eating me up in the inside. You know you can tell me anything. Before we got married, you asked was Vanessa and Keith Jr. my only kids? Yeah. Well, that's not quite true. What are you saying, Keith? I have a 25-year-old son named Xavier. So say I do find him, then what? First, you should focus on finding him, and then you should go from there. I really want to see him and talk to him. Then again, I don't. That's a decision that you'll have to make, and I know it won't be easy. You know, it'd be a lot easier if I knew he wanted to see me. But you won't know that until you find him. But what if he doesn't want anything to do with me? Babe, I don't have an answer for that. This would be one of the toughest decisions I ever have to make. Well, babe, it's a decision that you don't have to make right now. So why don't you take a deep breath, clear your mind, and let's enjoy our walk. Yeah, you're right. You know, that was a nice walk. I really needed that. I'm glad to see you so relaxed. So about my dad, should I contact him or not? If it's meant to be, it'll work itself out. Hello? I need you to come over right now. Okay, calm down and tell me what's wrong. It's Keith. Okay, I'll phone the doctor and I'll be right over there. What's wrong? It's my patient, Keith. He's not doing too well. Not now, not now, Keith. No, not now, not now. Please try to Please hang try on. Please try to hang on. You said you can you beat said this. You said you can beat this. Hello? Dad? No, I'm sorry, you got the wrong number. Dad, Dad, that's me. Your son, Sean. No, I don't have a son named Sean. It's my fault. 
father, huh? Look at my, my dad, my own dad. Man, I can't. Listen to this stupid doctor, man. What the hell does he know anyway? <laughs> what he need to know. Huh? He need to know about this. Yeah, everything's fine. We'll just talk when you get here. Okay, see you soon. What's your problem? What? Hey, what's wrong? Why do you look so sad? Today has been one of the toughest days of my life. When I have those kinds of days, my mommy or daddy gives me a big hug and everything's better. Hello, Xavier. Sorry to meet like this. It's okay. It's not your fault. I can understand what you might be feeling, so I'll give you some time alone with your father. Thank you. You here by yourself? Nah, I'm waiting on someone. Who? My son. It's good that you spend time with your son. That is more important than anything. It is? Sure is, but I've got to go and that's supposed to stop the strangers by. Take it easy, kid.